uh, if you are working on a product, you better do sit down with me, uh, throw your idea at me, I can tell you if it can be made that way, I can tell you what the basic cost is going to be, and we go from there. Uh, yeah. Um, and a common fallacy is it's cheaper in China. Yes, there it is cheaper on instances. This no, it's not cheaper in China because they're not going to want to deal with you for this part. They want to make a million and umpteen millions of this part. Okay, they're not going to want to make you ten thousand. Right? And the tooling I've gotten quotes from China because I'm a rep for a machine also out of China. So I just for curiosity I've asked for quotes. And they came in higher than what I was going to charge sometimes. There's one time I couldn't believe they charged the price. But you get what you pay for, too. It uses a, now this uses a, an O-ring port to seal the segments together. Well, it's floral silicone and then vital, uh, yeah, they both work. Um, some I, I even thought about playing around and you can get a real thin viscous uh, silicone, put them together and squirt it in the gas. Try it. I, I got that. Um, but anyway, back to the, the Chinese thing, we can't make you tooling. If you've got a product you want to work on, check in the States first. You will get some outrageous quotes from both shops. And they will sell you and make you a mold for exactly what you hand them. Okay? Some shops, like myself, will sit down with you and Say, if you change this little piece, it'll make it cheaper to make. And I work with you. I try and help you develop your product a little bit better and make it cheap, cheaper for you to make it back. Right? You make something where the gas is all Pardon me? You make something where the gas is built in all at once? No, because they're two different materials. You want a softer material on a gasket. Now you're talking about oval molding. It can be done, yes. We can take this, turn around, stick it back in the mold, another mold, and mold a gasket in. It's a second process. Um, for the companies that have, the big companies that do stuff like, you see toothbrushes, two different materials. That's dual molding. It's two molds flipping and, and molding over each other. That's very expensive. It's not practical for, for this scale. Anybody else? Done? That's great. Yeah, I'll pass out some business cards. Anyways, I'm sorry it was so short. There's not a whole lot to tell about molding, unfortunately, other than showing you part of mold. Um, but I will pass my business cards out if you'd like them. If you have any questions, uh, give them. Let me see if I can help you develop the product. Well, I said, I'm not doing this part for the money either. I do it because I enjoy it. And it's it gets things out there, changes things. Okay? So. You know, I'm not going to take and, and do this to make a million dollars. If I make a million dollars, great. That's that's the benefit in the long end. It happens. But I'm doing it because I like it. So, anyways, thank you for the whole 10 minutes. I think I was up here. I got. I had to talk. Anyways, uh, have fun and enjoy. Thank you very much, Richard. Uh, you know, these kinds of nuts and bolts things, uh, machining and molding, uh, are really the uh, foundation of our industry. And, uh, we're, you're all lucky to have a guy like Richard who can provide this kind of work for you far, cheap, far more cheaply than uh, you'd get in a lot of tool and die shops. 